Hello and welcome to another episode of Never A Straight Answer, the podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm Gaz and joined in the studio as always, we've got the Bermuda Triangle, Taylor. Calm down, calm down guys, calm down, calm down. Thank you, appreciate it. I know we've been away for a couple of weeks, but... We you know, don't, there's no need for the fun. applause, honestly. We're back. We're back. We're back don't and sounding better than We're ever. I'd, um, I'd actually, I'd like, I'd pretty much say. Oh yeah. Do, oh, do you yeah. reckon? Thank yeah. You. Technology is finest, I reckon. Uh, oh yeah. So, um, yeah. Gotta get better. What have you been up to, bro? Uh, I've been to VR place. Oh, go mate. You've been, I've been yeah. everywhere. I've been with us, uh, actually. We've been different places. We've been all sorts, all sorts of places, places, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, we will get yeah, actually right. Yeah, we can talk about this because we were expecting to put an episode out, weren't we? Yeah. A couple of weeks ago. Um, we or last did week, actually make it as well. We did we? actually make it. We did. But it was one of those. Um, actually, we it was action packed. We'd recorded bits, and we still got a bit a bits from the day. Yeah. Um, but we came back after a full day of it recording um, till about three in the morning, cool. and then all of a sudden. The file lost. We lost the file. The we couldn't do anything. I was anything. numb for like two days. Yeah, I was that. absolutely good. Yeah, we snatched it. We could have. We could have. Yeah, could have. Yeah. yeah. By the way, Mikey's it. in the studio. Oh as yeah, well Mikey today. is in the studio as well today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see you, Mikey. And Jay in the corner as usual having a drink. What are you drinking there? It's probably Red Bull Monster yeah, or something like that. Monster. Trying to keep yeah, awake. Yeah. Um, fifth, ten to one bet. That yeah, don't bother that much, do we? So yeah, so where, where was it? Let's get back to the story. Yeah. That basically, um, that we were lo- we lost the recording. So we did. Both of us were gutted. We just like we yeah. just didn't have the heart, and we've done it before when we've lost a recording. We just re-recorded it, haven't we? So yeah. it was like, but this do was we like re-record it? o'clock in the morning, and, and it was, was like... a very special episode. It was the fiftieth yeah. moon anniversary, yeah. so we were like, well, no it's time we sensitive, it. and we did put a lot of work into it, but it was ah well. It, it's these it's one happen. of them things, yeah. So you just got to deal with it. Then we'd actually planned to have the summer off, yes. so a couple of weeks, yeah, because of the way things timed out. So we were, you know, our fiftieth episode coincided with our uh, one year anniversary yes. of the oh, show, yes. which is Can't next wait. week. Yes, um, and all joining. Yeah, definitely, and um, we've got a way of doing that, which we'll cover pretty soon in the show yeah um, and we'll give you the details and you'll be able to call in the show live next week oh yeah which i think is pretty exciting to be honest yeah, can't wait. um so yeah can't wait um, decent um decent questions we want definitely if you've if got you, a question for us about got, any topics that we've discussed in the past or yeah. whatever or any you want us to talk about in the future yeah definitely just get in touch and yeah. we'll, we'll we'll make it happen we'll make the magic happen so yeah um yeah big thanks and um, we've been hooked up with a bit of new kit yeah which we're using now and yeah. hopefully it'll sound good and um, we're just kind of getting scripts with it so we've um yeah let us know what you think if it yeah. sounds better than normal if it sounds crisper or whatever just give us a shout let us we'd love to yeah, know give your us feedback. a review of it um because yeah. i might get one of these i think yeah. um one of these i think is at the roadcaster pro podcasting board it is amazing so we'll go in talk about that but yeah, yeah you mentioned earlier <clears throat> about going to the vr place yeah, really which much. was a big part of last week's episode yeah um we'd actually recorded from there we'd, we've got some video footage of taylor yeah. actually walking on the virtual moon yeah oh the, um, oh, the imaging on that was brilliant man. telling us about his experiences and stuff so yeah i mean um the whole day for me was absolutely amazing yeah. The guys over at Virtual Hideout Manchester were just like spot on. So were really helpful. Yeah, if brilliant. you if you're interested, they do parties, they do kind of escape room stuff. Go they, down there, have a look. Yeah, Come definitely. Check it out, asking questions. Definitely worth going and checking out. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I'd go again, definitely. So I doubt. Um, we, but this is it. We did the 50th moon anniversary uh, landing on the moon thing. Yeah. It was quality. Yeah. yeah. I mean, tell what tell the viewers or the listeners because. Oh, well, you sat in the cockpit yeah. at first with, uh, you know, Buzz Lightyear and that. Buzz Lightyear. Uh, yeah. And, like, you're going down and you, you, the visuals were just absolutely brilliant. 
absolutely brilliant. Uh, I liked it when you kind of looked around and it, he st- literally stood there. Neil Armstrong st- um, stood there next to you. Yeah, and, yeah. And it's so fucking real. Like him on his shoulder, and then it? you get this kind of torch. Yeah, there's a torch in the cockpit of the eagle. Yeah. Yes. And you look up and it glares in your eyes. And it's, and the same thing happens when you're on the surface of the moon and you look up at the sun. Yeah. Yeah. You get yeah. that glare and yeah. they've got that bang on. So, the closeness and the the, the fairness of objects as well. It, it was just yeah, it's awesome. I mean, highly it's recommended. Just, yeah. I mean, and this was just like um because because it was the moon landing, but they've yeah. got a hell of a lot of VR experiences. And yeah, I went I on a couple 100. that absolutely. Do you know when you get that and uh, feeling of inertia? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I had that uh, about three or four times. Yeah, but there's on the one beach. when you come out of the out of the ISS and you look up yes. at, and your stomach yeah. just turns. I, I went, nah, I don't want to go with this. I don't want to go on it. <laughs> yeah, going round and then just like, you know, gravity taking well, control. It was brilliant. I had a quick go of the um, Spider-Man Far From Home. Yeah, um, I wanted to have a go that And that was time. quality. Yeah. You jump off buildings, you've got your, um, your web slingers and you fly from building to building. So, yeah, it's pretty ace, man. Yeah, enjoyed it. So, yeah, yeah, so we did that. We did. And then me and Mike here, the following week, went to Comic Con um, in Manchester. And how was that? And And Mike is a a Comic Con virgin as well, so, like, um, he's never been. But I I think it's like his favorite, I think it's his favorite thing to do in the world now. Yeah. yeah. As I told the wife, year, I, yeah, I'm going dressed up next year. As I told the wife when I got home, he's been sending me since um, loads of um, ideas She's for w- for what he could dress as next year, and I've seen it all so far. So have you settled on? Well, literally, you've seen it all. Man, is he going to wear a dress and that? No, no, you know oh, what I mean. Go like, as Princess Leia and have the wife because she's she short. Go as Yoda. What? Yeah. So she, see, Mrs. is going to go as Yoda. <laughs> That's what my mate says. She's not so, going to go in as yeah. like Leia or something, or something Which like a bit girly that Leia. she might enjoy. I don't matter about the height. For... Manga characters usually, isn't it? For the girls, uh, I don't know. I mean, you decide. No, I, can't see you're I mean, you manga tell us what you like to go as to Comic Con. I don't generally dress up, but I, I enjoy the the atmosphere, and I think um, everyone who does. Is kind of goes to have a lot of effort, so yeah. good, for, good for you. I mean, I wish I was a bit kind of more thingy to go in an outfit, in, in, out, in a I costume. Would. I would go as I would, if I go, I would. Well, what would you go as? I don't know. But <clears> I'd we go, go as the Justice League. As well, I'm not, yeah, Men in Black, yeah, you know, know, or, you know Batman, Superman. I'd, I'd go you know. as Batman, maybe. Or like, do you know the Deadpool's a ten a penny, mate? Yeah, you, you not, pick, didn't you see about you five or six down there? Stone, throw a stone and you'll bump into a Deadpool. I was or a Harlequin, to be honest. It's, it's like, but, but a pimp uh, yeah. up his wheelchair and become a Professor Xavier. Yeah, oh, that's pretty good. It's actually, yeah, oh, that uh, that um, villain in uh, Glass. Oh, um, Samuel Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, do you know yeah. he's um, brittle bombs? Yeah, he's got kind of. Um, um, I think it's called. Um, if I get this right, you're gonna. I, I deserve a pat on the back, but if I don't, um, is it bone syndrome? No, it's no. called osteogenesis imperfecta. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Remembered. Um, yeah, I, I do remembered. have. I do have memory. I do have recall. That fucking fair enough. Um, so yeah, basically. I think like what was we talking about? Yeah, I don't know. I think I'd go as like Batman or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. For me, it's got to be something unique. Actually, unique. yeah, and that's it. I'd like, actually, um, I was talking to a friend of mine, and she likes. Um, I do like the book Ready Player One, but um, I think the the film was all right. It didn't have the kind of same sort of. I don't know. The book's magical, yeah, but it's like the fucking film had a bit kind of quite a lot taken out of it and changed. So I was talking to a friend. It's like, oh yeah, do you know what? I didn't see anybody dressed as like Parzival or uh, Parzival. Yeah, he's the main, the character, main character from from the Ready Player One film. Or, okay. And his love interest was um, Artemis. And I thought that'd be a quite a new. Th- not. A, I thought there'd be more people in that because it's all the film's about that sort of culture or like you know 80s culture and movie culture well, obviously it's not being picked up that much well, totally uh, than that's, it should be that's what I'm saying so I think like um, I would have expected to see something more like that but and perhaps it was but 
like I say, it's like anyone who goes, I think I might go as Deadpool this year, and then sad, and sad. then be a bit disappointed that you arrived and did, oh, but did who there was somebody already in your costume. Well, if you're going as Batman, I'm going. And as, as well, another thing is, if you're going to go, like I think like when you see um, like yeah, the not. really professional guys who go in the proper proper Deadpool suit. And then you see the other guy next to him. Fair play to him, but it's like it's like the contrast of the suits. What about yeah. the woman that were dancing that was a mixture of all different she Avenger w- heroes? She and... was all of them rolled into one. She couldn't decide what she wanted what to do. What do you mean? One to. leg is one, one leg's the other. I have no idea. She had the Captain America shield and, some, and a she Harley Quinn Deadpool hammer mask. and Deadpool Harley mask. Yeah. It was a bit dodgy. I don't know what was going on there. Dancing in the middle of the thing, trying to stand dancing. Yeah, it's so, all girl power. So what else have you been up to? Uh, just basically working, researching in loads of different fucking topics, literally from one end of the scale to another. Oh, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I've I've been working quite a lot, so I've been trying to, you know, do stuff and kind of, like, you know, enjoy myself when I can. But... I've not. I mean, I've been trying to research some stuff for the podcast, but yeah. at the moment, I'm, I'm just kind of working so much that hey, man's got to work in this a living. That's it. But I'm um, enjoying it though as well because I've been um, taking a lot of photos again. So we're like, a, I kind of do this. Yeah, whereas, so you're like, back what to what you like doing. Back out and taking pictures and what? what what's that? So you, yeah, so you're getting back out there and doing yeah, what you like doing. Totally. So I mean, I've um, been taking a lot of pictures and meeting some kind of interesting people um, and. Yeah, pretty much just kind of gearing up for next week's episode yeah. and um, trying to learn how to use the kit that we've kind of borrowed. Yeah, nice kit, man. It is mint, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, it's like, um, I think that I definitely want one of these now. Uh, it's, so I think you've got sale there, yeah, boys and girls. Yeah, so I think I need to get one of these. But but we need to make sure that the sound quality is um, yeah, totally. uh, doing I mean, the right thing. Ho- so hopefully this episode sure. sounds amazing. Yeah. And if it so does, us. let us know. Yeah, yeah. yeah we need to know. an editing board back. What do you mean? Well, the editing board you can get where you get one off YouTube. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, one yeah, one. yeah. Get one? Yeah. One well, looking well, at. Well, uh, this is it. I mean, I think like um, in terms of, you know, home studio kit, I think yeah. we, it's the road like Pro Master thing, so yeah, get get one man. Everyone yeah, get designed one. To I do totally what highly recommend it. We're supposed to be doing. And thank you for lending it us. Um, yeah, thank you of very much. Unknown origins. <laughs> so yeah, um, have you got any news that you want to talk about this week? Oh yes, oh yes, big news as well, son. Well, well let's uh, crack on with the news. <laughs> There you go. And that oh, means the there news. we go. Yeah, news starting. Here now. Oh, brilliant! I've done this in a couple of weeks. Streamlined. Do you know what? I think we. I think we we were more streamlined doing it the old way. Oh, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll let the viewers. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. Yeah. I'll give you that. So I will tell you what. After 49, 48 episodes doing it one way, yeah. and then going right, yeah, lads. Yeah, it's it 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 quite it a big change, isn't yeah, it? Really? Like, well, yeah, oh, I'm like, I got it. Yeah, done it now. Sweet. <laughs> it was brilliant though for the way you were doing it. I did it with yeah. you. Oh, if, yeah, for the you're going to do it, you it. do it well, mate. Yeah. That's what you do. You don't do it well as possible. Better. You do it as fucking well as you possibly can do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're reading my notes guilty. beforehand, are you? So, <laughs> oh, right. I'm glad no one else is. Yeah, no one told I, me I don't read your notes. Was, so. like, it's a biggie as well, this one, I think. Well, go on, give us the news. Come on, what are we talking okay. about? Well, uh, uh, New York Fire Commission's demands... New uh, 9-11 investigation because of what? overwhelming evidence of... Uh, Tampering with, with the structure. Yeah, of course there was, mate. How beforehand. the fuck? They've been told we've only been... There's only been I've a been million documentaries been about happening. it. Since yeah. the day it happened, yeah. everyone was saying it. So, so what they're trying to say, that, or were they acknowledging it now? Now they're saying it is overwhelming evidence. And you know that what it'll be? It's like and everybody who's, who was currently involved in the operation no longer works for the people who you know, have they're any sort of fucking say or they died. Right or whatever so there's no accountability so yeah. we can talk about it now yeah it's like all of these projects that we look into yeah and i mean like we say it's not the first time they've done black 
fucking nee, budget nee, operations. Nee, definitely won't be the fucking so, last. You know, I mean, like, I'll use their own people. So just think about it that way. It's sickening, man. Of course it is. So, um, so what I'm saying is, it's like, we all know the reasons for it. And yeah. we all know, I know there's been Cold a lot of suspicion. I mean, Alex Jones has gone into it so many times about how, you know... Look where he is now. Yeah, I know, but you can be, you can go one or two ways as a conspiracy theorist. I totally agree, like he went yeah. a bit off the rails. You could, you could start believing everything. Yeah. Yeah, like... That's why you should have a break. Or, well, it's not even just to have a break. I mean, just don't believe everything you read. I mean, some of it's entertaining, do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it doesn't have to be a yeah, whole but, big but, government plot it's just like some of it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of it's shocking well you've got to analyse what you've been told exactly but what you've got to do is take those sort of take the lessons learned exactly. and then apply them to your life do you yeah, know what I mean yeah. you don't just believe the first thing you read. oh yeah yeah no so no no, like, no yeah we've talked about David Icke and the lizard guys yeah. and all the rest of it but it doesn't necessarily mean I believe in that uh, no, believe yeah, that. But, yeah, but I'll tell you about it because it's interesting yeah, yeah right so yeah. there we go yeah, yeah. so there yeah. you go Information's power. Spread the information. Information. Oh, gets the power. Get the power. It's gorgeous. Sm- oh, sorry. I was going to go. Go carry on. Carry on. So what? Yes. So they're now so, they're saying uh, that 9/11 was an inside job, and um, and President Bush yeah. needs a fucking knocking at his door. So. Oh well, I, I think uh, through them times and uh, the times through um, Clinton and uh, it was the last one, Obama. All of them are, uh, I think, are, are going to get a little bit worried. Do you think they're all in on it? I mean, were they all out? Parts there, of them will be, Most yeah. of them, yeah. I wouldn't say most of them, but... Even Trump. Really, they're, they're, near enough, everyone sh- probably would know about it, but it doesn't necessarily mean they was a part of it. Yeah, fair enough. But still, they should have turned around and, like, you know, like some of them do, tell the people <laughs> like they start, but then bastard. it sounds like a joke. Yeah. Do you know what? I've missed this. I know we've had only had a couple of weeks off, but I've actually missed the, the doing the podcast. Yeah. It's been. Oh yeah. I miss the I miss um the the listeners and like you know I en- yeah enjoy it and like, yeah yeah bit of feedback from yeah, the uh, about the show and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. What are we doing the show on tonight? What? Yeah. What's the show about tonight? Um, Saturn. Saturn. Nah. Well, that's not what I've and, got in my. Yeah. Book. No, you've got something else, haven't you? Ah, I've got something. So it looks like a. Uh, it looks like a two splits. All right, yeah, my friend. All right then. Okay, we'll call it a versus episode. You tell your story. I'll tell mine. And, and then, I win. And, and then uh, <laughs> my but that's bigger than your dad. Yeah. yeah. And then everybody in I'll the audience can tell us up. which one was a more interesting story. <laughs> yeah. All right. We we didn't have like you know um, altercations about this at all. No. Yeah, so don't think it's like yeah, yeah, it's this. Not, actually, was quite no, originally it was moment. supposed to be on. No, what happened is thing, I'll tell you the story, right? I'll tell you a little story Watch about. I bet you over dramatic. I'm not going to over dramatize it. it, right? You just listen. I stay set back. Go on. All right. Go on. Tell so, the bullshit. Go on. So, I ring him up last week and say, "What do you want to do next week's um, episode about?" And he says, "That's true." And he said, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I said, we could do it about Saturn. We could do it about, you know, the ring makers of Saturn potentially yeah, or right something then. like that. that. And he says, yeah, all right, yeah. So then yeah, um, I, I forget. I'll give you that. I, I, it gets to like kind of midweek and I forget what I've kind of been thinking about or I've had a few different ideas since. And then I come up with, oh, I've got an idea. So I ring Taylor up, I say, do you want to do it on um, the Bermuda Triangle this week? No, I don't he think says, we should do that. He says... Oh, that's a brilliant idea, that guy's. <laughs> right. No, I honestly so I said, say that. All right. He says, yeah, yeah, because we, haven't we already done one on Saturn? And I went, have we? I don't remember. And he says, yeah, we have. We've done one on Saturn. No, so we'll, no, do, don't we'll remember definitely that one. do the Bermuda Triangle, right? And then he turned up here today going, so we're doing it on Saturn, aren't we? And I went, no. It's Bermuda Triangle. You and then he's totally forgot the whole conversation. You what? What? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're doing it on Saturn. Well, I am. He's doing it I'm on doing Saturn. It on I'm Saturn doing now. it on the Bermuda I'm doing triangle. it on my own. He's left me but, to do his own but, shit we'll fi- and leave me on my own, man. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find, uh, as conspiracy <laughs> that, theories it, normally do, they'll be connected in some way. But let's 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 just say that could happen. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I know I may be involved it's there. A there you go. Already. It's a conspiracy already. It's a conspiracy already. The wrong thing. Yes. Are we, are we getting misdirected by something here, or like kind of like you know trying to get Ooh. miscommunications? Was it even you I spoke to? Yeah, it was. Or were you some <laughs> sort? Of, yeah, 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 it was. <laughs> yeah, I remember the conversation. Yeah, it was me. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it was yeah. me, but the conversation went a little different, okay. Tommy. How did how how different did it go? You you rang me up and you you asked me um, what we're doing it on. Uh, well, I said what we're doing it on. You went um, what about sat and so I went. Yeah, mm, yeah, I all did, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, agree with that. I yeah, agree yeah, with yeah. that. That part, yeah, perfectly legit. Yeah, not problem. Got we had a little bit more conversation. Went da- uh, phone went down. What was it? A couple of days later, um, and then uh, you rang me up and thought. Now, at this time, I was looking into something else as well because I was looking into. I think it, it was wasn't to do the Bermuda with the, Triangle, was it? No, it wasn't actually. Oh, right. To do with well, uh, anyway. Hertz <clears throat> sound waves. Hertz, don't it? It does. It yeah. does. Yeah. In the right, right, right sound wave. Yeah, well. it fucking it. Boom. Boom. Yeah. So. So then, yeah, you. We carried on with the conversation, but we moved on to some uh, some other conversation, and then it was a case of. Because I, I thought of ringing you back and going, we're still doing it on Saturday, aren't we? But then well, I should have realised I should have done that. But yeah, I you didn't. should have done that. You totally should have done that. So but I it doesn't on. matter. It no, doesn't don't matter, matter it's whatsoever because... I've got shit loads of He's got loads like of information about Saturn. I'm actually really interested in Saturn. So I'm glad that you've got, you're have got you going to entertain me for a good yeah. half hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got that. a really good story about um, Flight 19. Okay. Which yeah. is um, one of the first incidents um, about the Bermuda Triangle and a bit yeah. of information about the Bermuda Triangle as well. So, yeah. either way, you know, you're going to be in for a pretty entertaining episode. So, well, I hope so. Yeah, well, I think so. I think so, yeah. So, what yeah. do you think, Mike? Well, anyway, we've yeah. got loads of news to get yeah, through anyway about. before we get to that. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Let's uh, crack on. So, um, so we've been we've been talked about this before the um, before the break, yeah. But obviously, um, Air, the Air Force are warning against the raid on Area Fifty One. The FBI are actually um, raiding uh, houses now on that. Yeah, how do you mean the raiding houses? Uh, they're actually going to... going off people off the list. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. to be honest though, yeah, because obviously they probably have watch lists anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, and if any of them names actually bit, appear on the uh, on the let's raid yeah. Area Fifty One fucking finger when they put their names and addresses down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Fair yeah. news, mate. You've got a warrant. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, they ain't even getting near the doors, man. Yeah, well, that's true. Oh, more than more right. than a million people now have signed uh, the petition to raid Area 51 and find the aliens that they've been what hiding there. And the uh, U.S. Air Force has warned that they're basically, you know, they get mowed down. I reckon. Yeah, they're gonna oh. get. They're gonna get. Are we not doing any American podcast? Well, if nah. you'd like to fund well, us, we'd uh, gladly go along, but I'm not walking into the bloody um, No, uh, well, the way my philosophy on this is um, watch all you guys do it. We'll podcast about Someone's it and survive to live another day. I guarantee there's going to be. Day. If you survive, ring in. And then we'll, th- we'll gladly talk about it. We'll, yeah. we'll ring your survivors, and now which, we, which um, you know, we can do now. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's so, true. I mean, that's it's like we could talk to survivors, the um, widows... Um, you know, husbands what was that quote stuff? you were saying about in the paper <clears throat> about um, the time traveling? Do you what, remember it? What about it? What time you, travel? You said it last week on the one that we lost uh, about the uh, the quote of someone saying, "Oh, the big um, incident in Area Fifty One." Oh yeah, that was right. He said something about um, like it was kind of a little comic. Or a little kind of um, illustration article. Yeah. And it was saying something like, um, guy says to Time Traveller, oh, so did we ever raid Area 51 then? Yeah. And Time Traveller says, oh, what, you mean the Great Massacre of um, Nevada or whatever? Yeah, 2019. 2019. And so, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I thought it was sort of like a good... Because, like, I I reckon that even if people ain't going to go in there, there's going to be a lot of people to turn up to Try see and climb if someone over the fence will go in. Something. There'll be one guy who go. It's yeah. one of those things. Do you know when you're a kid and it's like you? It's summer. You're at the you're at the like the river or the lake or whatever, and you kind of like goading each other into yeah. trying to go. Who's going to jump in first? And it's, it's like you go first. You go happen. first. It's like that is totally going to happen. There's yeah. going to be one person who go. You're a bu- you guys are all a bunch of pussies, pussies man. I'm walking in there. I'm going to go in, else. and then he'll walk in, right, and, and then, then get shot. fucking shot, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. and then it'll be no warning. The tragedy of it, yeah. and and then everybody, and will then go, everyone everyone will kicking go up about it. Yeah, but oh, they'll t- it'll turn into a proper shot? protest. 
Who's so, a cocky yeah. fucker? It's private, pro, pro, private land. Yeah. I mean, at the end of a the day. A military installation, and what that as well. Yeah. Well, you don't want everyone knowing what you've got, even though that's you should the problem be though, a, because a lot of the, what they that's have. the problem though because if you're a government agency, yeah, right, you behold, you've got a kind of answer to the public. Right yeah. at some point, yeah. But if you're a but you never multinational did. or a big company, yeah, like I don't know, for you instance, fucking um, fucking SpaceX, SpaceX or some yeah. any of them, yeah. Skunk right. works. Skunk works. You can turn around and say, um, no, um, you can't see shit because it's all our IP and intellectual properties, and we've got patents for it all. And that, that's no, what happened, yeah. it's like. These um, industrial espionage, and we don't want other people getting hold of our designs, yeah. right? Fair enough. Yeah. But because they're independent, they don't get hassled by petitions. Yeah, and stuff. Just no one's off. banging on their door going, "Let's see your alien spaceships." Because and yeah, it's like, well, what's, he called? what's he called? Um, fucking. Um, he's got his own little space agency now, and he's he's basically got. Steven. Uh, no, no, you know who I mean. Um, Elon Musk. No, not Elon Musk. Um, we've talked about him. He's a kind of he lives out in Nevada, or like out in the desert. He's uh, got. Um, is that? No, no. Uh, I can't. Think. It'll come to me. Um, he's you basically have to give me more got his own. He's got Pope? his own. No, what? Pope. Pope. No. Uh, Leave, forget it anyway. Um, right, it's someone. Well, spe- speaking of aliens, anyway, have you heard that loads of people? have gone out, thousands of people even, have um, rushed out and bought alien insurance. More than 6,000 people have taken it out. Alien abduction policies, each worth big, um, the event, you know, worth a, a shit ton of dough if well, yeah. um, they get abducted. If they can prove it, though. 8 million in compensation. So the bizarre deal um, provides uh, provided by um, a St. Um, Lawrence agency um, oh. in, in in Florida, promises their clients coverage over supernatural um, at sites such as Area 51. Only if they've got proof, Dad. So only if they get abducted, so it's a one-off fee of $24.95. Yeah, that's a scam. Oh, which works out around £20 in the UK. Um, and you basically, they mail you a certificate in a frame with... You know, and, it. and you're insured. You're insured. If you get abducted, then you get, um, you know, eight million back. Yeah, but you've got to prove it. Well, you've got to prove it because there is actually people who've tried it well, and haven't been able right, to bring then, the proof to the table. Well, yeah, you can go through like, um, like even hypnosis isn't proof. Like that, it's not I'm proof. Pretty sure you could probably do it. No, it's not proof because it can be not. It's uh, not admissible in court. So why should they believe it? Well, the, that well, the win-win for the insurance company. Then that's probably why they're doing it because um, yeah. the, the, the the frame insurance, certificate looks pretty fun, funny though. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, it says. This guy's got one. Um, £10 million in alien abduction insurance for uh, a man called Stormy Good Daniels. How much? Eight, uh, ten, ten million his is worth. Okay, no, that's yeah. a nice chunk of change. So obviously, happen, with huh? the meeting in septem- on September 20th at Area 51, the uh, insurance policies have been selling like hotcakes. I bet you they're the first people who are going to shit themselves when an alien ship comes from <laughs> out that sky. They'll be going, how the fuck are we going to pay well, all this What money? if you were to be like, um, have been probed or had like an uh, implant or something, would that con- count as proof? No, they've tried it as well. Why? Is there, that's been, yeah, they, they've tried it, but the, uh, every time they get sent to these places, you know, to get them tested. Yeah. And they come back with, oh, well, this is... Uh, unknown or this is unknown uh, it, they're still not believed yeah well to be fair and some like, items you, go missing a lot of the time believe like these people because to, to be honest it's like I always said this about like if there was second coming of Jesus happened you know you'd be um, you'd be like hey I'm, I am Jesus and they'd be like oh not another one yeah straight oh, in, okay, the in the nut house and then it's like, um, stick him in the Jesus room. And then it's like, oh, but I'm Moses. Oh, I'm Napoleon. <laughs> Napoleon again, yeah. Come yeah. here, sir. Come in, mate. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, it's like one of those guys could be legit, in my opinion. Yeah, you know my I mean? opinion. I think I've said it before that who's to say that the man who walks into a nut house and says I'm Napoleon isn't actually Napoleon. Oh, in a second life. Yeah. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't know everything we think we do, but as usual, we're cocky bastards and we don't and actually that know. That is true, actually. Half and as a much. lot of the stuff we find out and we go, oh, right, okay, shit. Yeah, we don't We leak everything we ever heard. Anything. Yeah. yeah. We always leak. We never, we never check the sides and check the up and down or what's in front of us. We just, let's jump in here and see what happens. Yeah. And then when shit hits the fan, they go, oh, well, we, we, we didn't look out for this and we didn't look out for that. Well, why didn't you look out for this and why didn't you look out for that? I mean, it's a case of, like, you know, it, it's too much of a rush to, to get as far up the ladder as possible, but uh, doing it dangerously, which is going to end up uh, hitting back on society because you never fuck with uh, Mother Nature. Don't she fuck always with Nature because she always bites back. She's a bitch. And, and, the, and the man I was thinking of earlier was Robert Bigelow. Robert Bigelow, Mr. yes. Mr. Bigelow. Mr. Bigelow. Male gigolo. Yeah. Hey, well, Robert. Is it? Is it? I don't know. Well, no, nah, it's just like Deuce, isn't it? Yeah. Deuce, Mr. Bigelow. Deuce. Well, yeah, Mr. Bigelow, though, yeah, I mean, that, that's a guy with balls as well, because to be fair, yeah. it's like he's kind big, of like... Big guard conquers. Hey, I've got a UFO. He's he, oh, but I've got, he, I reckon he has got UFOs. That's who stores them yeah. for the U, US, probably. Well, he's probably a lot of people got the out old there. versions that came down in the 60s and 50s and that. Yeah, well, there's a lot of people out there, and they've got... They've, I mean, uh, look after uh, after the last... Like let's say five years, he's never been so. So many people come forward. So even governments now are turning round. Even papers that would have never, you know, like the 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 right or the left papers that would never say something on UFOs. Yet every day there's a, a little comment on UFOs and aliens and this technology. To be fair, and this actually, conspiracy. a lot of uh, mainstream papers have uh, like an offbeat section now where you, you yeah. see generally, uh, but a lot of it's like seriously bad. What I think, still like, controlling it. No, no, I think like um, there's there's a channel that regularly gets featured in the Express. Uh, that's a YouTube channel that they pick up on yeah. as a kind of a source for legitimate news. Well, no. That's yeah. not legitimate news. I would never actually even talk about this channel because they're absolute dog talk out of their asses. Yeah. And I think a lot of it's, in fact, most of it, if not 100% of it, is super staged. Yeah. yeah. But if the Express choose to print it or if they're involved in it, then go for it. You know yeah. what I mean? If that's what you're into, fake alien excitings and time traveling kids who've seen the apocalypse. That's what the government want them to, to, to pay Trey what's going on. Like Project Mockingbird, you know, the yeah, control of the papers. Yeah, but it's like, and, but and there's a, you know, there's a kind of um, a, a fakeness about it all. Yeah, you know what I mean? definitely, because they won't push it in one way. Because I'm starting to think that uh, a lot a lot of this UFO thing coming out now and, uh, and a lot more people coming forward, a lot more powerful people coming forward, they're actually uh, pre-planning for maybe um, Project Bluebeam. Do you I, know what though? It's like it's a fifty-year it, plan maybe, that's I'm been in joking. the process. Well, think about it this way: um, the new people. Spider-Man movie. Have you seen it yet? Uh, no, I wanted to watch it the other day, but it just didn't. The whole come out film is Project Bluebeam, and that's the. If is you it? Watch, Seriously? You watched the film yet, yeah, right? I, I and watch that the tonight. concept that the villain has is Project Bluebeam. Okay. And you know his way of doing it is just a, a way you could do it, but I mean, yeah. it's if. If it wasn't for somebody who intervenes, then everyone believes it. Do you know what I mean? As, yeah, yeah. And just you'll get what I mean. And I think the listeners, if they've seen the film, they'll understand what I mean. So you well, know, we'll be watching it without a doubt. Yeah, definitely give it a watch. But what I'm, what I'm getting at is, it's the methods yeah. that he, the villain uses to kind of try and trick people is that exact concept. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But rather using an alien invasion or like um, a Jesus or a religious figure. You know, appearing. Well, they that, tried that Jesus one. They already tried that one. And well, it I've seemed seen, to work. Kind of, I've seen loads of things like that where it's been like the sun coming down or like, you know, like, a, and um, it's cast the light through clouds yeah. and people have said, no, oh, it's a Jesus figure or something. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I mean, I've, mate, I've seen Jesus well, on a slice it's of toast. Well, then real or it's not. I've he's seen Jesus it. on a slice of toast, G. So do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's I, like. I've seen him in a puddle when I walk by it, but it doesn't oh, I've mean seen it him is. in every snowflake. Well, actually, a kiss of a baby. How do you know what Jesus looks like? There's I don't been know. no photo. There's no proof of photo. No proof he was actually exist. Oh no, exactly. In another way, you yeah. know what I mean. So it's like, yeah, There's no, he didn't even Which take. Jesus he didn't even it? take a selfie. 
No. I mean, it's well, there is actually paintings, but they were all like depictions, aren't they? They're yeah, not, what about like, 300 years when later? Jesus was actually a person, then not an animal. When Jesus he was, 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 that he was what? an animal. Yeah, well, yeah, what, no, how do we know if Jesus was an animal? Yeah, he, no, people think <laughs> Hopefully he's not Mary Mother, a Magdalene. Human. But how do we know that? She'll, she'll tell you. That could be wrong. Oh, he Jesus. could have been a Because he was, an he was supposed to be an Mary, you like, you know, give birth. Yeah, but that birth. could have been an animal. His mum could have been an animal. Someone yeah, could yeah, have yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Gone, oh, well, yeah, don't yeah. forget, it was 2,000 years earlier in Egypt, the same story was told. So it's a case of well, what's going on here. That's what I'm saying. So then that's that mean it's already happened now then because the year the 2000 Mayans, has gone by. The Mayans have got a version of it as well. Yeah. Where it literally means the sun. Yeah. Um, the, the It means it's an astrology story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More yeah, yeah. than, a, uh, more than a, um, a baby being born yeah. story. So same in the Middle East, yeah, because it was all in the rising astrology. The sun and all the rest of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The words, with it, words have been changed for uh, purpose... It, purpose purpose of someone else yeah so use it for something else change the word meaning something else like apocalypse apocalypse is uh, revealing and everyone says it's destruction i mean the egyptians changed religion on like a weekly basis where every time they got a new pharaoh he decided what gods they were to worship well yeah but i wouldn't say in a yearly thing well you know what i mean but like yeah on a uh, i mean yeah but don't forget back in the day they didn't live until yeah, you... but it's not like a religion that you'd have for life, is it? It's like, because sooner or later, if your king dies and a new one comes in and says, you're not allowed to be that religion anymore. What about the king who the lasted 28,000 years? <laughs> no, well, honestly, there's a... a aliens, I, mate. I don't know aliens. If, was, if he lived well, 28,000 years, I'm going to say vampire this is or what aliens. Says, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's one. Or both. He could be a vampire alien cowboy well I don't know because I, 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 I'm a, a I'm, I'm a big believer now in in the um, Sumerian stories and the, the text that they brought and the connection to uh, as well um, to all the other um, old religions and old uh, countries on what they've got in their text and yet we're being told in differently to what these texts are coming out with Mm-hmm. And it's a case of, well, hold on. Back in the day, when you'd seen something, like in the caves, when you'd seen something, you'd, you'd draw it or you'd write it down. Yeah, you'd put, you'd put yeah, it down in some of kind of method. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or, and remembrance, because then you could go away, go home, come back to that place and go, oh, I remember when I was here last and I did this. This is that yeah, place. Yeah, but then you have them faulty memories where you go, off. That is sure, true. I've been here before. That and then it's true. like, nah, you've not. And it's like, uh, but Don't it seems so familiar. No, no. I've been places where I've gone. Yeah, I, no, I've, I've been this. here. I've, yeah. I've literally been here yeah, before. Yeah. yeah. But that I think that's for your soul. Maybe. Your soul moving to what do you mean? Place. Like, what, like, um, or... Well, when you sleep, when you, when you sleep, uh, you, oh, like your soul moving, traveling. yeah. Yeah. Moving around to a certain area, uh, not because it's not your plane. control; it's the control of your uh, subconscious. So whatever that's doing, and then comes back to you, and you remember things like that. That's where I, I, I imagine I, your I soul popped out, but came back, and you'd gone out. Hey, so you've gone for a you're nap. On, well, you know, you've gone for <laughs> yeah. a nap on your sofa, yeah, right? Yeah. Your, your astral plane soul, yeah, yeah decides. It's a good time to go for yeah, a bit of a jog. Shops. Bit of a jog on the astral plane. Yeah. It whops off for a bit of a fucking mooch, yeah? Yeah. Right, you wake up and go, shit, I'm late for work. You run off out the well, house. Well, you wouldn't wake up. Your soul comes back going, oh, for fuck's sake, he's gone out. You won't wake up, you'd be a dead soul then. Well, no, you go out. You, no, you, you won't wake you, up. Yeah, just have one of them days, wouldn't you, where you just feel like a zombie. And I think like... you're being more control of it than it's in control of you. That's what I'm saying, it yeah. have to find me. But as scientists have come round with saying scientists that actually... said nothing. You, you don't have control of what you do. Your subconscious does. You have uh, uh, one uh, half of a millisecond to make a decision before your subconscious makes it for you. Yeah, totally. I think, like... Um, but it makes it more... that 5% of what you do is well, you well, and it's the what rest they say is, is your subconscious. A good, a good gut feeling, you know what I mean? It's like, you yeah, know, but poli- you get the choice police, of going for it The police not. just don't have hunches anymore, do you know what I mean? It's like, have a hunch. I got no, a they hunch. just pick anyone up and just 
No. Drub him. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, you'll do. Yeah, you'll do. You'll, <laughs> you'll right, do. You'll tell us who did it. Day. Tell us who did it or we'll say you did it. Yeah, exactly. This is where Taylor's been for the last two weeks. This is why we're not recorded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you tried getting in Area 51. It didn't go well. Yeah. Is it um, well? Yeah. It's Loch Ness next. They're, actually, they're what, getting raided next. Did you know that? What, Loch Ness? Loch Ness. 100,000 people are going to raid him. And, <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bernuda Triangle, there are, uh, I think, 1.5 million people. 1.5 million. What are you going to do? Go swimming? <laughs> you can totally raid. Hopefully, they'll all get lost. Yeah. 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 And never be seen well, again. Well, that's one way of getting now, with the, the stupid thing is, people, isn't it? Right. It's like, it's funny because it's like, well, what's and next? And it's not as well. Well, how are you going to raid lo- the Loch uh, Ness? Loch Loven. Is it Loch Loven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, well, no, what are going to do? No, it's, it's not like, it's, it's, it's Loch Ness. Loch Ness. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. what they're going to do is hire a boat and they're all going to get on it and, <laughs> and and stop everyone else getting on it from going Why around. don't they just pool all that money and go and find out if the Earth's flat by, uh, you know, find the wall? It's not flat, come on. No, but that's... Oh, pardon me, I've just had some lemonade. Um, scruffy boy. I know, yeah, scruffy bastard. Um, what I'm saying is, right, it's like they're all going... Like, they're going for easy options, do you know what I mean? It's like What, Area 51's a nice, easy option, well, isn't it? Well, it's easier than find the edge of the edge of the flat earth, isn't it? Well, yeah, you just all join hands, don't you? And just go, just, right, you go that way. Everyone keep going, keep going, keep going. Actually, someone made a really good point and said, oh, yeah, do you know, like, yeah, um, you can't go to Antarctica. Because you can't? You've got to have the licence to go but there. No, no, because of you, but who said it? You just go the other way. Yeah, well, yeah, everyone could go that way. Yeah, yeah go the easy. other way. Yeah, that's just free, go, mate. Just get to Antarctica and go, you can't come in, so you're not allowed. Right, we'll go, go around you then. All right, then I'll, we'll, we'll turn around. Yeah. Go the other way. Yeah, why come not? Come back around on them. <laughs> yeah, but there's not enough mystery going on uh, on, on that it's side. has got loads of places to jump over the wall. Yeah, oh, yeah. So Yeah, that's true. Have you, um, yeah. have you got any news that you want to talk about? I I've have got, got a bit. shed loads of it. Right, we're well, first we're off... We're already running out of time. I told are. you we'd be explaining ourselves for a good p- portion Shut of this. Up, um, no, I've already done a couple <laughs> of news stories. What are you talking about? Well, I've heard... Right, if you see, a, if you go into a cave... If I you forgot what the buttons do caves. on this thing now, so I was going to whack whack you. you oh, anyway. Shame. Fuck you. Shame, shame. <laughs> if you... Uh, a little uh, information. If you go into any cave in... You know, you know, travelling around in the woods or whatever, and you won't go to a cave... If you're doing piss. a bit, what he means is, if you're doing a bit of dogging, yeah, and you, know you, what? And you, you find yourself, and and if you find you yourself in then. a cave, yeah, yeah or yeah. in a car park, right. In well, the if you of see a symbol yeah. on the wall, yeah, and you see a symbol, go of on. a snake eating itself, a uh, robberus, yeah, yeah, they're, uh, they're get a robberus. The fuck out of there. Uh, why? I, mean, I thought a robberus was that sort of like um, for, forever eternal life no, sort of thing because it is no, because it is because it's like a symbol of. And that's what robberus means, isn't it? It means like the um, the never ending. It's like it's a ch- it's a circle that can never be broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. But don't find it in the cave. Well, what does it mean if you find it in a well, cave? Apparently, apparently, an agent has come out who used to work in Area Fifty One. They all worked in Area Fifty One. Yeah, it, it, it sound he sound he sounded uh, plausible to be honest, and he just stated that. Um, like if you see one of these uh, symbols on a wall in a cave, going in there, I'd get, I, I'd say, I'm turn around and I'm going to get my up. gun. Yeah, yeah. they get out of there. Yeah, basically. So there's a little a UFO warning for the lizard people. Okay. Oh, is that that's what they are? The lizards. It's yeah, uh, a lizard, lizard entrance. Lizard, entrance yeah, to snake. the lizard lairs. Yeah. Um, Boris Johnson won. I can't believe. Yeah, Wicked. well, actually, I can believe it because I actually wouldn't. I didn't. I don't mind the fact that Boris Johnson's. I mean, let let's Neither. face it. Right, the guy walked into his ca- into cabinet and just sacked everybody. Yeah, yeah. I think it was the Very biggest, well done. the biggest display of bollocks. Yeah. yeah, in in terms of sackage, yeah. sacking people. It's more like manufactured yeah. in uh, May was it? Well, May. Uh, this has May. This is. I think the last one was back in eighteen summer, and it was mm. like eleven people. Whereas Boris Johnson walked in and sacked like fifteen Bye-bye. people. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but there were people who weren't willing to come to his cabinet as well. Yeah, but now he's just got all his mates in yeah. good positions, hasn't he? He's like, yeah, yeah Boris he's got is most the of them want to leave. Yeah, and he's even set up two more um, I groups. Did take- to get us out of Europe. While we're talking about Boris, I did, we did see, my friend posted it on Facebook and I thought it was hilarious. He, there's a picture of him with playing guitar when he was yeah. on his um, press tour thing. Yeah, oh, yeah. Trying yeah. to get like votes or you know, public opinion. Yeah. Um, 
and he's jamming with this group but there's a thing called a capo that you put on your guitar do you know like and it kind of brings the pitch up and down so you can, yeah yeah um the top yeah so um he's playing but he's playing the wrong side of it and he just looks like a melon and it was on the papers and i thought it was hilarious so, so i thought boris come on me boris well well deserved man well deserved well deserved he, hopefully hopefully don't know he's he's gonna i like boris give actually. us what we're after as long as he kind of maybe does what he does but then like i say it's like when um i think if if all you've got to kind of talk about is getting out of the out of Europe, then well no no because no, no. the first uh, day on his job he come up north, Northern Powerhouse. He wants to give us uh, the train station to go from London to us, so there's you know more business oh. coming our way. Hey, we've been asking this for hey, ages. Hey, I'm not even joking, right? I tra- I travelled to London recently a couple of times on the train, busy, isn't and, it? and fucking busy now. Well, it's bu- London's always busy, but what oh, I mean no, busy is. is busy, um, I remember when the train used to take four hours, four yeah. and a half hours on the train to London. Yeah. Now, two hours. You know what I mean? It's not that bad, actually. London's an easy commute, Manchester to London. Yeah, but now. once you get there, you're like, fucking hell. No, it just means you get you're more... You, it is busy, but I just kind of like like to come home. Actually, I, I like to walk around London. I don't like to get the tube very often, and it's a bit yeah. kind of... So, so there was a thing it's on the nice news when I was up there, and they said, um, "Oh, f- finally, we're going to get 4G in the in the in the tube." And it was like, "Well, well, wow. 5G's just come out." <laughs> well, no, because like you know, you, it's like you can't get a signal down there. So if there is any no, sort of problems, problems, then you know, how do, do you, have how problems, do you, how do you contact people? It's like, it's, well, it's that's hard, why five. But, Five, they should throw the five G down there, even though I'm against it, because it's it it connect it connects more people faster. It's good to talk, but that'd be the reason why they do it. Yeah, definitely. Got money in it in the back pocket, really. So, well, yeah. Focus. So I think like um, so Boris Johnson generally. Yeah, I mean, brilliant, if he's really, um, but this is what I mean. He's got if he's got other policies to fall back on when he comes out of this Europe thing. Yeah, and he's, he's got a plan. Then gone to Europe. Make good stuff. That's he's, what we want. Yeah, he's gone to. Uh, but uh, I still maintain, yeah, mm. right, that Boris Johnson still got the same difficult job. Yeah. That Theresa May had. Yeah. Right. And just like everybody was like, Theresa May's good for this country, and then when she couldn't do the yeah. job, or was pushing the same fucking plan every time. Yeah. Then you know, if Boris starts, give it up fucking, straight away. Like you know, doing that. Like Hawking in the church, man. You can't, you know, you've got to put it down to you. You're pushing against a fucking brick wall sometimes, yeah. and it's like if they're not agreeing to with our terms, then they're not agreeing to anything. So you know what, exactly. you're up. Bye bye. Yeah, exactly. Bye bye. If you're not, not willing to get rid of the backstop, bye bye. Done. Yeah. It's only the backstop I that mean, really is it. the major I, I, issue. I like, I like Europe. I think Europe. I think uh, Europe's all right, thing, but I don't want yeah, to be in charge. I just don't want. I, I just don't I want, want my sovereignty to be kind of like governed by it. Yeah, because yeah. we don't like, have any say. Even yeah. though they say we do, it's it, 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 it's not. It's a federation. It's trying to be a federation. Talking of federation, has anyone seen the new um, Picard trailer? No, I won't see this. Oh my god! Yeah, a few people have talked like, about, and um, oh well, I'll tell you, it's a bit like. Picard is retired, yeah, and he decides yeah. that he's gonna kind of go on one last fucking mission, yeah, and yeah. Um, it's a bit like Logan, yeah, like looks a bit kind of gritty. What you mean he's gonna find himself in a hole covering uh, a man? <laughs> no, no, um, it, it, it's a bit gritty in the way it's filmed and stuff, and Direction. it's a bit, and it, it's got a couple of twists in it anyway, and and it, overall, I'm not a trekker. Yeah, but oh, I enjoyed yeah. the trailer and I got references from it. And there were some characters where a friend was watching the trailer and said, Oh my God, so and so's in it. And I was like, Seven I don't nine. know who that is. And he was like, Did you not watch Deep Space Nine? And I was like, No, Seven I didn't nine. watch Deep Space Nine. I watched a bit of Generations. I watched a bit of original series. I watched, um, what's that one where he goes, It's been a long road. Oh, that was the first one. Here uh, Star Trek. There. Uh, Enterprise or Voyager. No, I think it was Enterprise, yeah. yeah Enterprise. Enterprise. The yeah. one with um, Sam Boy, Beckett, we Sam Beckett from um, Quantum Leap. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that um, my brother Deep Space loved Nine. it. Generation, Deep Space Nine was good. Well, this I'll... one is Picard, yeah. and um, he's come back to reprise the role. So, And they said, will you do it? And he said, make it so. 
and now yeah, he's man. Um, Picard. He's come back for the yeah, last film. Jean-Luc film. Picard. I like yeah. a, I'll give it a watch. Yeah, I'd definitely watch it's it. It's a bit different, isn't it, as well, considering it's um, like, you know, a Star Trek story. But you I mean, tell me, I is there any action? A lot of people say he's the definitive Starfleet captain. Yeah, I, so, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got to agree with that I one. I just love him in Family Guy. Uh, not Family Guy, American Dad. Oh, Commander Data gets in uh, there as well. Yeah, well, Commander Data is, uh, is in, in it, but like these, um, I, I don't watch it, like I say, but I've, I've read something and I've seen another thing where they were talking about well, there's two um, of them, how, really. Yeah, he's got a brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then there's another Naughty thing brother. where he's saying he's got um, another droid that he downloads himself into. Yeah, because in, in one uh, of the films. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. In one of them, he, he they, actually Commander Data gets destroyed, but his brother's still alive. But at the time, he was programming everything from him into the new, new one, but... Right, the new well, one's I supposed heard, to be a baddie. I heard a story the other day, actually, um, and it was... I, I'm not going to say who told me the story, but it was from a, 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 a somebody who knows this person. Right. Right. And he was saying about how... Um, like, she it's green. He knows Data, and he said... He knows him, Commander Data? He knows Commander Data, and he said... Um, how much... Uh, oh, yeah, that was right. Um, a mobile phone company contacted him and said, um, will you put... The makeup on and be data for our mobile phone advert, yeah, Ooh. or like a, yeah. a data, yeah. yeah, right. You get an extra data, data. yeah, right, yeah, I'll whatever. get that one, yeah. And he said a million pound or a million dollars, and they yeah. went, yeah, right. and they went, uh, no. So well, they said, oh, well, what about half a million? They said, no, they get hundred thousand away, hundred thousand, yeah, no, well, at least four million, right. So then he says, um, you know. He, and he doesn't do it. They ended up taking loads of voice clips and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And re- and they did it. And then they sent him a check for 100000 And he was happy with it because he didn't have to get into the makeup. He didn't have to dress up like... It, like well, that is a bonus. Game. He's got it for fuck all. So then, obviously now he's appearing in the Picard thing. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. So almost, he is then. So it's almost then. like saying, so you got your million then, did you? You know, well, yeah, yeah, because yeah, obviously he yeah, said he's I getting won't paid do it now. for less than a million. I won't get back yeah. in the makeup. So yeah, you're gonna get it. loads of people watching it just because it's Picard. Oh, cool! Like yeah. you said, he was like the best captain. Well, I, I mean, you can't I, take I, it I'm from gonna, Kirk. I'm not going to argue it, but I don't after, know really. So I mean, these and these are pretty sure there's a, a big majority of, or a population of people who believe it was Pic- it's Kirk. Do you know uh, what I mean? Well, yeah, I. I I, I agree in, in, in one way, yeah. That make it but, so appealing. Mm, I, I don't know. I think I think John Luke Picard had that little little bit something else. To I be honest, the to real me. slim shady. No, 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 the no, no. You need blonde hair for that. It's funny though. Have you seen him? Like, have you seen um, William Shatner do his spoken word rap? No. He's actually done a spoken word album where he does stuff like. Slim Shady. I don't know if he's done Slim Shady, but he does other songs in spoken word form. Right, okay. Yeah, Google it when you get home or have a look. Li- have, if you have a listen to it, because he's... Uh, no, I like the man, man. He's well, William Shatner, that shit. man. Well, well, I'm I not don't... ripping on him. He, he, he no, chose know, to do like, that. No, yeah. I didn't fucking twist his arm. But... I'll go be out there, 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 and all of a sudden he's stealing some... Go out there, fucking do a spoken word album. Yeah, I don't, if I want to listen to something like that, I listen to the album. Yeah, listen to the album with the actual music behind it. Get so the I can get the con- Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't uh, want to listen to some old man, decent actor. Anyway, moving but, on. I got some know. news. Um, a French inventor will on Sunday make his second attempt to cross the English Channel on a jet-powered hoverboard Ooh. that he's designed, um, having abandoned his previous bid. Yeah. After failing to land um, on the platform that oh, he, you know, he'd, he'd set out to, failed, there to get on, failed and so um, what's he called now? Um, he's called uh, Fra- <laughs> Frankly Zap- Zapta. Zapta, who uh, wowed crowds during the French um, Bastille Day celebrations on July the 14th, as soaring by over, um, over a million paraders in Paris on the device. Um, so now he's going to attempt to travel across the channel on it, on a, on a fucking hoverboard. Is it? I take it it's one of those ones that kind of um, that suck in the water and that yeah, I've blow seen. out the back. Yeah, I think so it is. Yeah. When they seen those originally, those were kind of powered, like in, and tethered. So yeah, they, yeah, you've got to have good control of it. Now that you can be 
untethered and kind of go freestyle. I've yeah, never well, seen they... that. I've never seen them go freestyle. Well, on if you're book. an expert on them, yeah, but if you no, but I thought that they were a tethered to the to the land to an extent because no. the jet only for dum dums. The jet's not. It's not like a a, rota- a rotating thing. It was always like powered by a, a pump that needed yeah. to be on land. No, the pump was in the water, which brings up the water. In, uh, so how do you cross and the power the water through the back jet So pack. what are you doing, dragging your pump along? No, what you're doing is taking water from the sea, putting it through like an engine and spitting it out the back Fair like enough. a bullet. So, all so right, it yeah, gives you force. I know what it's like. It's like um, what are those kind of like a jet pack? A jet pack? Yeah, set you know through I mean? like, if you. Yeah, but I know yeah. what it's like. Well, yeah, it's some of these kind of. Have you ever seen Colin Furs? He does those sort of jetpacks where he builds it. It looks like a big exhaust. No, I haven't seen. And then what he does is, um, it's like a, a pulse jet. Have you seen a pulse jet? No, right. I don't so think so. So how a pulse jet works is, it's like it looks like a, like I say, it looks like a big um, tube, yeah. which is bent in a U sort of thing, but it lo- looks like a bit more like an exhaust. Yeah. Okay. And um, you you pump gas into it one end, and as it's coming out, you kind of but it's like um, drawing air. It starts drawing air in with the gas. Right. And you light it, and it starts making a racket anyway. But then it'll start start it up. It's like a jet engine as it heats up, and it put it pulses. And what? I've so to, is I'm it no water? engineer, obviously, and this probably is the worst explanation of a pulse jet engine. Yeah, What's but power that's technically, in it? Is it the it's air like and the gas? gas and air, yeah. So it's a but gas it's ignited. Machine. You've got to ignite it. So when you ignite the gas, you've got to kind of get it like um, you've got to kind of rev it up with like a leaf blower or something to get the air going. Okay, yeah, it. I've seen that before. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. It, that's the only thing I can kind of equate it to on them water things because, okay. um, like you say. You've got to pump. You've got to get that going. Yeah. So if you don't get it, if you if that cuts out halfway across, yeah, then you've pretty much screwed, aren't you? Uh, well, so you shouldn't you, cut you out like unless a, there's a mechanical problem. How do you problem. keep that kind of jet pulse going? He's going to have a or, boat near him, isn't he? Really? Yeah, he's going to have to. Yeah, really, you, isn't you're going to be stupid if you don't. You know what I mean? Good luck to the kid, though. I mean, if he's yeah, if he makes it, congratulations. Yeah. If he doesn't, well, you know, congratulations. Try again. Yeah, at least he's not doing drugs. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Fair play to the game. Yeah, being a good boy. Um, have you seen? Do you know the the what's it? Um, like trainers. It, yeah. There's a big market for trainers, isn't there at the minute? Like yeah. kids, kids are spend. Kids got if you've Spending got a sick a trainers, man. Yeah, fucking. What are yours, man? I've got one twenties. Is that all you've got? Your mum must be skint, mate, because I've got one fifties on, bro. Three stripes. Yeah. Points. <laughs> right. <laughs> Give me a cribs, Borav, or whatever they say. Yeah, right. Well, anyway. A, a what? A me crab? Cri- me cribs. Oh, cribs, right. Okay. Or whatever yeah, they yeah, call yeah. them, yeah. yeah. Anyway. They're called trainers, mate. Trainers. Um, <laughs> That's right. Crips. Crips. Yeah, crips. Give, me, give me a crips. Crips what? Crips, crips is what? They call them now trainers. I don't know. The trainers. Whatever. Well, yeah, do you know what? They probably don't. They pr- we're probably they so not with it that we've probably already passed that, right? Anyway. Yeah. Well, there's websites and stuff there where you can buy actually like pure trainers. Right, I can hear that proper loud. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, oh, sorry, mate. I got where you can buy trainers and like, um, like, like Air Max and stuff oh, that are um, sort of limited edition, you can't get hold of anymore and stuff like that. But the, do you know so the horrible. Nike Moon shoes? Yeah. Right, well, there's only been 12 pairs created and it was a limited design by Nike co founder and um, the track coach okay. Bill Borman yeah. for runners back in 1972 Olympics. Right. Yes, yes, I remember um, this. They've gone up for sale for $160,000. I always go to say pounds, but... Yeah, it won't be pounds. Yeah. Pounds worth, I'll say them, Fucking it? loads, mate. Well, this is it. Sotheby's um, had a trainer uh, market on um, their um, website. So, basically, they had 100 pairs of the rarest trainers ever produced, including a sample of the first Nikes. Including running Shouldn't shoes you know. and pre-sale high estimate of um, 160 grand as well. Right, so <gasps> not bad. It's not. Yeah. I so true. But yeah, they also had the Back to the Future two um, ones as well. Do you know from the two far- oh, the, yeah. the sneakers that um, they actually tried to recreate and um, the self-lacing shoes, but they actually had the ones that were from the film, I think. 
Yeah. Um, but you, the, what these ones were like, you could kind of see the like extra laces underneath. So you could okay, kind of yeah, see yeah. where whoever were operating and was pulling the strings to tighten up his shoes. As the old saying goes. Yeah, they pull. Someone was pulling something around there. Pulling his strings, mate. Sweet. Good job, just strings. Don't move, yeah, but don't well, be, don't move. The ones Nike made directly for one. Nike, the new button. ones do actually work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They button up, don't move. Yeah. Press the button. All yeah, right. well, they, they, they kind of, I've seen how they do it. They kind of like, um, they, these plates around your ankles and the support, and then you slip your foot in, and then those kind of clamp around your feet. Um, and there are laces in, but they're more kind of like those, do you know, remember those, like, Puma disc? Yeah. Where, yeah. Where if you had Puma disc, like, they were a kind of little disc you turned, and it, the laces tightened up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so they were, I think it's kind of a system like that, where... There's a servo in the trainer that makes that gear go used. and um, tightens that disc. Yeah, it's a bit over the top, though. Isn't it? That's what people want, though. People want self-lacing trainers, and it's back to the future sort of. I want a fucking spaceship, but I don't see one outside my yard. An arm and a leg to get them, aren't they? I mean, that's the the reality of it. Oh yeah, well, give me the Enterprise. Make it so, Mr. Scott. Haha. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so moving on. Um, I've got a uh, um, FEMA test that's going to happen over all America, which they need to know now because it's going to shit them up. Why? What's happening? They're going to turn the net off. They're going to turn the net They're going to turn the net off. Ah, panic, panic, pandemonium. Yeah. Oh, how are they going to listen to our podcast if they turn the internet off? Download every episode of Never a Straight Answer. Because we'll still be now, there when it gets because, turned back on. Yeah, I know. Well, we, st- we will still be there, but they'll need something to entertain them. And Download if they the can podcasts yeah, like yeah. I do, yeah. then they're going to run out of material pretty quick. Yeah, so... Down- 7th of August. Download us. How lots of us. What? Uh, it will be for probably a couple of hours if they get it right. My if they get it wrong, about 10. Because she's always on the phone. Well, she's always on yeah. Facebook. Well, it's not even really been published out. I mean, some uh, some towns and cities have been hit by this and scared people. But is that only going to affect America, though, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's only American. It's a FEMA test. Uh, that's yeah. what I thought. Um, but, it was um, just with Mikey saying that it was um, his wife. It just gives more evidence to say that there's possibly something else on it. You know, something's going to go on. It's actual a test for any radiation to be falling out of the sky. I'd do that for a buzz anyway, you know, just for see what would happen. Yeah. Just go like, yeah, should we turn, should we turn the do. internet off? Just, I said that it's actually. The world again, I had, isn't no, it? I had this conversation with like um, a guy who's um, like saying we, you know, if you went into a coffee shop with an internet jammer or something. Yeah. Yeah, and you could kind of, um, you know, get that because everyone would start talking yeah. to each other again, wouldn't they? Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, I thought about right, What's going on? Is your internet working? And then they go, no, and then they, they strike up a conversation. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, that'll go send... loony and go, oh, I'm going to kill myself. What's we sending nowadays instead of an email? Imagine yeah. that. No, it'll no, be no. like, in, imagine the internet goes off and then it'll be a couple of generations down the line and they'll go, Granddad, how did you learn how to do this? And they go, I saw it on YouTube. And they'll go, watch YouTube. Yeah. yeah, go and find out, and know. when you know, come back and tell yeah, me. It was just like the lost uh, scrolls yeah. of Alexandra yeah. or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a fountain hey, of some knowledge, t- a fountain of knowledge lost forever. Something in one way it, it'd be good, but in another way it wouldn't even because most of the stuff that we learn now is like, I mean, it's like kids now. Like, if you ask them a question, they will look and, and ask Google. What and are you talking like, about? I'll, I do that. Yeah, loads of people do. I was actually I was talking to brother the other day. And um, he ended up asking Google, and it was like he come back and give me the answer, and he went, "And I can't believe I've just done that." That just meant, that just shows how easy it is for people to just go, "Yeah, ask something else the question instead of learning the question." That's an issue yeah, like well, that's that. how you do it, don't you? Go, "Hey, Alexa." Yeah. yeah. I have an issue with that because a lot of shops close down because people go, "Oh, it's cheaper to get it on the internet." Yeah, and lots of people don't go out now, so it's a case of if they're going out, they're going maybe a pub. Or well, so most people, a lot of people don't, don't go, go pubs anymore yeah. as well. Yeah. Most really people just drink me. in the house yeah. or just chill in the house. It's go, fucking society. Shopping online. Just walk to a shop. Yeah, exactly. Get off your ass. You know, yeah, get a little exercise in you, and you'd be right. Yeah. Well, there you go. But you know, life ain't that easy nowadays. It ain't easy. No, you can even buy being cheesy. Here, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. What was I going to say? Um, jumped on up. We've not even talked about this, but yeah, thanks for everybody who voted for us in yes. the um, podcast awards, yes, by the way. Do you do know what? I don't even. So much has happened, and it's been like we're trying to kind of fit everything in. 
but we'll tell, we'll talk about this again at, towards the end of the show. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just thanks anyway. Just what I just say, thank you for everyone who took the time to go over and vote for us. Um, we've the voting's over now, so I think it's going to be a couple of about a week or two, and then we'll find out if we've gone through to the next bit. If we haven't, doesn't matter. It was nice to be involved. Yeah. yeah and it was. Um, yeah. Cheers. If we do, cheers brilliant. for the support either way. So we'll yeah. we'll keep you posted anyway. Yeah, we will keep you posted but, on this. Um have you got any more news you want to talk about? Um, any more turn news you want to uh, talk about? I kinda like this new mic that we these mics that we're using. Yeah. And normally we're kind of like in the same room using one mic, so it'll be interesting to hear the kind of Yeah, I can't wait to hear yeah, to hear the shared sort of um yeah, experience. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah see, definitely. see what happens. He looks like he's not seen someone. Um, yeah. I've got a news story. Have um, you? UFO moon base. Did NASA's satellite just spot an alien UFO t- um, ty- tycoon crater moon base? Ah, but is this fucking like a photo from like yeah. like 56 years ago or was it a photo that happened last week? Well, the, the it, it was, was published um, on, It was published today, right? So the alien UFO moon base has um, supposedly been sighted on the lunar surface by NASA's space probe. Um, a UFO um, conspiracy theorist has outlandishly claimed. I love how they put outlandishly. So what was he doing? Waving his arms about, running into the NASA headquarters, oh, going, I, you fucking know the truth, man. You, you're trying to keep it from the people and doing all this. And they say, whoa, you're being outlandish. Go to that nut house. Well, That's NASA's lunar um, fucking, or, um, the reconnaissance orbiter, the LRO, is um, an unmanned probe orbit in the moon, and the past decade, NASA's space probe has in, um, in that t- time created uh, detailed lunar maps identifying future yeah, landing sites, happening. monitoring uh, potential lunar uh, resources such as fucking minerals or whatever. Yeah. Um, and um, basically, they've spotted something, and they think it's the greatest discovery yet, sighting numerous oh, UFO bases. On the surface of the moon. Right, we've been saying. Right, we didn't we say that? Yeah, we've Fucking been saying hell. this for no shit. generations. No shit. A bit late to the party. Yeah, you know what I, I don't mean? think. Yeah. I think so self. Uh, so they're basically saying ETs um, could be you up there. Know that, uh, <laughs> right, so yeah. Bro, let, me tell you, let me just come in. Come here. Pull, pull up here. Pull up here. Yeah, just get a bit closer. Yeah, right. What I'm going to tell you now is let me just tell you. Right, just just me and you now. Yeah, so me. And Taylor. Right. Yeah, well, what I'll tell you now is, yeah, we've been saying this for fucking ages. How many ages? Ages, mate. Right. Big, big ages. <laughs> yeah. Massive ages. Yeah, but anyway, right. So each... It's only for you and me talk about it. <laughs> so basically, they've seen each of these different shape sizes, um, structures, uh, mostly about tw- uh, 12, uh, 200, 2,000 to 2,600 feet or That's 600 big. to 800 miles no, across. Um, they are big, but appear small in photographs. Yeah, that's because we're that's far because away. The moon, that's because the moon's massive as well. Yeah, the the moon only looks pretty big, small big, big, because big. of how far away we are. You know what I mean? It's not a picture. It is now. So, right, yes, yeah, so it is that uh, moon base in the fucking, on the moon. Oh, have you heard about um, them finding some new planets? 75, um, uh, 75 light but years away. But they're going to, aren't they? And I said this, because the these further they go out, why, what, what's up with these? Apparently there are a couple of twins. Right, okay. Oh, uh, twin planets? Yeah, twin twin planets. And it looks like they're in the... Amp- <laughs> amp- it looks like they're in the... Uh, Taylor's amp- light, you're loving the game. They're close in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, getting right in there, Sand. Right in force deep. Right, so, yeah, apparently they found this, uh, these two twin planets, and... Um, they're what's your mic? He's knocking it then. He blows one. Uh, apparently, Phil they, and Lil. Shall we call them Phil and Lil? Yeah, yeah. let's call them. Actually, Do funny you know enough, reference? funny enough, these two planets are. Uh, they reckon that it is uh, near enough that there's going to be life on it that they're actually giving them names instead of numbers. Ah, well, good stuff. Hasn't happened in a long so time. So, what are they calling these twin planets? They haven't called them yet. Phil well, and I think Bill and Ben. I, no, Phil and I Lil. think Phil and Lil, the twins oh, wow. from Phil and Rugrats. Lil. Oh, you give him the answer. I was going to ask him, does he oh, know the reference? Oh, sorry. I, was gonna ask him I need a reference. The film was on the other day. It was 
Oh, film. there you go. I didn't watch it. <laughs> well, watch there you go. Um, I think, like, um, you know... The, I you think it's, that it's more likely well they're going to have to start naming them anyway aren't they because no, it's, no, no, like, no, no, it's no. a bit kind of like oh yeah where are we going one to go to E5 6 9 7 8 yeah. 2 4 uh, 1 I can't remember that. You yeah, need to but come up with a name for it. I'm yeah, sorry. but that's then names are there for like you know for uh, the scientists. They're not necessarily there for you, so they can they know what the numbers mean and the numbers can uh, mean certain things to you. Instead of writing it all down, you do it by numbers. But yeah, if fair, it's an important enough. if it's an important air a, a important planet. You're gonna give you're gonna give it a you know real decent a name, designa- like, or yeah, you just give it you know, a designation yeah. if it wasn't important. Banana yeah. one two, yeah, something like yeah, yeah the strawberry totally. system. I get where you're coming from, yeah. But like I think like um, if they obviously like you say if they're naming it up naming it, then there could be something to it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 there's it, a high possibility. Yeah, there's a high possibility that there is uh, water, and there's also uh, inhabitants, possibly humanoid. Possibly. Ooh. Some kind of alien. Mm-hmm. But whatever we find there, it's going to be alien exploring. anyway. Even if it's an insect. Of course it is. They're all aliens. Yeah. They're everything's aliens. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, look, Jesus, we only done 5% of our sea, so everything under there, we haven't even had half a clue of what's on this planet. Okay, well, we'll move on to... We'll do a bit of NASA, um, NASA headlines, and then we'll move on to the... The main topics, and I'll flip a coin if you with you if you want. Yeah. See who goes first. I'm not asked. I'm um, live live gambling I, session. I'm still tailored though. As long as you're not um, asked, I'm, I'm still tailored. So water on the moon. NASA claims um, significantly more water on the moon than expected. We know. Um, the NASA shock that Apollo can no longer take us to the moon, but Elon Musk can. Yeah, hey. apparently they've just done a new contract with NASA stating that they're going to, uh, you know, like build technology in the uh, in a new kind of space station. Yeah, uh, NASA want to land the first man in 50 years later this year. Or... What, on the moon? That's bullshit, that. No. No. That's bullshit, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And not only that, they need to get there by 2029. Well, so, no, I think you know they, I mean? they won't get there by 2024, I think. I think that well, yeah, but the final deadline's 2029. Um, so, Saturn bombshell, yeah, NASA's uh, groundbreaking theory that um, over the rings reveal um, bits and pieces. Let's see what that's saying. Like spacecrafts. Um, <laughs> the rings are still proof. evolving, apparently. Yeah, yeah the, thing, the man made them. Alien made. Not. Well, you I know don't what? With Saturn, that, there is like, so much... It's actually so much to do with Saturn and this planet. Yeah, Saturn's kind of, Well, yeah, exactly, because what they reckon apart, what happened... and Some people believe in the f- forming of the moon, Yeah, right? Our moon. Yeah. Was that um, what happened was... Yeah. You, the um, There was an impact, and yeah. we actually had our own rings. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, because of all the debris, but then there would have been an, a, a bigger piece, like a big piece of debris that was floating around that had a gravity. And then all of a sudden, all the little pieces would have been attracted to it, formed our moon over time. And then there was still a, gravi- a, a debris field, but not as much, but there still is to this day, right? But, no, I don't believe that because... Uh, well, no, even if, science- well, we've, we've got a perfect um, um, uh, opportunity here. If the scientists are saying that Saturn's still, the rings are still evolving... Then potentially Saturn's rings could be in a stage where they are. We could witness the forming of a new moon over time. Now we know what to look for. Well, uh, now we possible. could consti- co- um, possibly look at this now for the next however many decades. You know, it's not going to yeah. be us who find out the answer, but like you know, we we kind of documented the idea, or not us, but you know, our generation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you know, potentially like in in couple of decades time then the scientists will go do you know what back in nine, uh, 2019 someone uh, postulated that the rings of saturn could form a, um, a moon one day and they were right look at that you know yeah I mean? you never but know i don't think we'd ever see it in our lifetime no definitely not but some it's of some for the future generations of scientists to look, look at mm-hmm. I suppose. yeah and it's like i say it's an opportunity to see that and document it over time at least so it's a weird um it's a weird um, uh, pla- uh, planet. It, there is so much symbolism. Do you know the cross is to do with that? What? With the cross. 
the cross like as in the the cross the jeebas yeah no i didn't know yeah see yeah uh, well no i've not done any research oh, yeah, yeah. on it <laughs> okay okay well i have Oh, so we're moving on into the main well, topic. Well, no, then. no, no. You can, we, you can move on to yours first if you want. I've no, no. You go for it. I mean, I've not got any um, any thingy. I was just for doing the, the NASA headlines, but what I'll say is, um, yeah, there's been a lot happening in in NASA news this week. Yes, the there you go. Well, very much to be so. honest, the NASA news was pretty much dominated with um, the 50 year moon anniversary last last week. Yeah, yeah, which was pretty cool actually and i mean i had them um, like say when we were at the vr place yeah and we were talking about that moon the moon landing and stuff we had a yeah. woman who came in earlier on who'd actually whip she was around to watch the original moon landing oh yeah so i mean obviously it's not that old but like you know to an extent she was a kid when it was on and she yeah. was like to kind of relive moments of that was you yeah could it see must the nostalgia. Special to her, man. yeah you could see the nostalgia and she was well chuffed do you know what I yeah. mean? To kind of come out and go, oh, that was amazing. So, That's good. yeah, well, That's yeah, good. we'll go, we'll go on to the Saturn, um, Saturn, Saturn me up, man. I want to okay. hear, I want to hear all about it. All right, all right, Saturn, here we go. Well, uh, Saturn, the sixth uh, planet uh, in the solar system, um, known as Lord of the Rings. Oh, because of its love of the Hobbit series or the love. Well, there is, you know what? There's general. quite a bit to do with that, you know. Really? Yeah. Here we go. The right. Eye of Sauron. <laughs> you know what that? Yeah. Well, you know that little uh, diamond, uh, that that um, shape yeah, on Saturn's the top. Yeah, Saturn's eye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that yeah to do with Saturn's so, eye. So, do, do you think Tolkien modelled that? Um, like, what what was he scared of it or something? Because he's kind of modelled that that eye or the Jupiter. Yeah. As uh, or Saturn even as because um, of history. As, uh, a, a, an evil presence actually yeah it comes history. to think of it I do remember because I have watched documentaries on Saturn but yeah. things have kind of slipped my mind I do remember bits and pieces when I try but like um, I do remember them saying some, it's kind of bit, always been a sort of um, a mythological satanic, satanic yeah. sort of body yeah. in in, in um, the solar system or in you know um, astrology yeah not yeah. astrology yeah it is astrology but you see it in it? Like astronomy. Rose, yeah, well, it's even in... Astronomy, um, I do apologise. No, astro- uh, astronomy, yeah, the symbols, uh, one of them's a goat, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's even a part of that. And that has to do All with... All right, then. Um, the funny that, and here's another coincidence, because I cannot believe that this has just happened, actually. We're talking about these sorts of things and then yeah. astrology and stuff, yeah. Right, well, I do um, a job that um, does events... I do events and stuff yeah. through my job, right? Yeah, you do. And um, I've, I was reading the paper the other day and I was on the way to one of the events that we were doing it. And this is what my stars said that day. And I, I had stars? to rip it out. No, I don't normally, but I, I saw this and I was laughing because it was, I've never read something that was so on the money, not so on the money, but yeah. Uh, so listen, your social life gets a boost. So this is typical okay. bullshit that you get at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your social life gets a boost uh, today with um, your lunar phase in this zone. Whilst this might encourage you to expand your social circle, it also an opportunity to display your organisational and managerial skills by arranging an event. And what did you do? I was uh, on, I just was on my way to way, an though, event yeah. that I arranged that would be seen by. So sure, you didn't write in the paper? Uh, nah, seriously. And then, like, we were talking astrology, and I've just—it's just literally appeared in front of me the actual newspaper bit that I ripped spooky. out. Spooky, spooky as fuck, man. Spooky, uh, spooky, spooky. It wasn't even planned. So. Oh no, it weren't worth it. I'm gonna throw it. I mean, it's, it seems to be like with that scene in the mask when he throws it out the window, but then he turns around and it's back again. Yeah, that's like that snail. What snail? The snail in your kitchen that never goes away. Nah, a guy walks up the path. It's a snail there. Kicks it. Kicks it about uh, uh, 20 yards away. So he goes in the house. A week later, he has a knock on the door. He opens the door. Looks left. He looks like. Looks up. Looks like. What the fuck? What's going on here? Snails down at the bomb. What was that for? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, I know. Uh, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why'd you kick me, man? What's going on here? I didn't do nothing to you. Yeah, please. Oh, wait, you can't now. All right. Right, I don't let's get on to Saturn. Right, okay. Right, Lord of the Rings. Or known as Saturn. Oh, Kronos. Now, Kronos. that's a... Yeah, I've heard about Kronos. Well, do you know what Kronos... Is, is, a time, is in that about time? No, Kronos is... Uh, the, the one where evil comes from. Wow. 
the what so he's that's Kronos. where evil comes from so you know when the um like the devil and all that or the evil comes from Kronos. Kronos is the one that creates it. Okay. it you know, you know that um, ritual that uh, the do in America. They did it a couple of weeks ago. Um, oh, what's it called? Where they go into the woods, or the um, prim- <laughs> uh, presidents and stuff like that do a bit of dancing. Oh, and, you um, know. the 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 kind of um, Bilderberg. Yeah, kind it's of... kind of like that. Yeah, but there's oh, a... oh, Bohemian Grove. Yes, there. Right. Well. That's who they um, pray to. I thought they prayed to Kronos. a big owl. No, no, it's Kronos. Oh, yeah, right. well, the owl's got something to do with it as well, and Saturn. Which, owl, goat, bull, black squares. All kind of voices. Yeah, they're all connected. The cross is all connected. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah if you have I a look through history, the amount of... It was even known as the first sun. Right, but Babylonians uh, have. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, I'm lost already. I've got to admit, it, it, it's there is it's so symbolised in the world. It's right, unbelievable. so what you're saying to me is right. Um, that there's there's all these symbols. Yeah, there's all these symbols around the world, and it's been growing from you know back in the day, and it's been known since back in uh, the day. But what's that connection to Saturn? The symbols connect Saturn through um, uh, rituals from the past. So this like, is people using Saturn as a kind of like a means to um, pray to in a, a yeah, because sort he, of a ritual. Well, sense. Greek and in Roman times, you know, with the Greek gods and uh, the Roman gods, uh, Saturn was uh, known as one of the gods, but he was known for feeding people. But he was also known to stop you. He stops what you want to want doing. Right. If you want to uh, go far in future, in, 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 you know, do well in in the future. He's the one who stops you. Why? Well, uh, there is so much what, what behind it. Yeah, what exactly. It, it, well, they, is he the reason why? I mean, it's like, great. Well, also, so look as well, he's, there's so many different you, Everyone else knows what I mean. To... It's like, yeah, come on, Saturn. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd come say, you know what I mean? It's like, um, it, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's crazy. But um, black and red are, are its uh, colours, supposed to be. But well, yeah, it used is to kind think. of like an orangey colour. Yeah. I mean, I used to think the... it's cold. So, no, no are these no, all these, these are just kind of like myths and legends and stuff about. Yeah, but these, these. Are about a planet. All the way back. No, but they're about a planet. They're about something that yeah. people saw in the sky yeah. that had no, they had no knowledge about whatsoever. Yeah. Right? So they're looking up in the sky and they see, like, with the crude implement, or like the crude like telescopes or binoculars or whatever they've got, mm-hmm. or just the naked eye, mm-hmm. and they're seeing this sort of red glow, mm-hmm. and because it's a red glow, they think, oh, that's a bit ominous, and they call it Sauron and fucking I don't know what what else did they call it there? Um, what? It's, the the Jupiter Saturn. Saturn. Yeah. Oh, there was loads of Satan. Satan, it was well, known that's as what Satan. I'm saying. Yeah, that's what he I'm was saying. known as the Black Sun. Now, potentially, maybe it is. I mean, maybe it's like, all right, then the people argue about kind of like myth- mythical kind of creatures like yeah. vampires and stuff like that. And then if they want to argue it, they'll turn around and say, well, it's got to come from somewhere you yeah. know, because um, all these stories do, right? So you've basically got to think about it like that. So if it has to come from somewhere, then. Say, uh, Satan and hell might come from somewhere, but it might not be like the underworld how we imagine it. It could be another planet where the conditions are brimstone and fire yeah. and stuff, where there is a, a you know that sort of place. Yeah. But it you know we've just not been visited by those sort yeah. of things. Now you, if you think that these aliens that are kind of coming down to us and they're all kind of. Oh, now really you're good, into this stuff. and um, you know, like druids. Then why not the other side? Like, I, I mean, like, well, where's this mythology come from? Of angels? Well, it's got and to come demons? from somewhere. Exactly, yeah. angels and demons. Yeah, they've just been told this is what it is because they've got well, because they didn't the know any better. Yeah, so, yeah. and I have made a mistake. It wasn't Kronos. It is. It is uh, Saturn. Is known as Kronos. But um, the baby eater and the, where evil come from, it was Moloch. 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 His okay. name was Moloch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, known as the baby eater I don't or know the if dark we're lord. Have the time for the Bermuda Triangle, but uh, well, well, we'll, okay, we'll carry on with some Saturn stuff. You can okay. always do um, the goal. That another episode. Eh? Of course I can. I can you do what I want. You. 
I can do what I like because, you know what I mean, it's mine and Taylor's podcast. So yeah. yeah. Well, do you know about the, the black box? What? About black? But do you know that? Yeah, black box. Right, you're not black selling... Box. Right, come on. You're going to have to pick up the it's fucking symbols, the businessman. You know, like uh, Mecca. You know Mecca. <laughs> is it Mecca with that I watched that a better documentary on this. Yeah. Yeah, is it Mecca? Right, Mecca. Right, go on. Mecca is a part of... Uh, to do with uh, Saturn as well. It's to do with um, the degrees of um, uh, height, um, width, and... Breath, depth, yeah. imagination. Oh, yeah, the, the, the three Sensual degrees. Um and they and they're outside big public buildings as well. The same with the bulls. The it's bulls have stuff, something yeah. to do with symbolism to it as well. There's a lot of there is yeah, so many. But, but right. So what you're saying is all these things point to what that there's some um, kind of uh, ritual do you think that they and still a use it as a kind of? Do you still, well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, like you could say that, like if it was another. It, he doesn't have to be a place that is kind of myth, mythology, like myth, mythical, no. or like even religious. Yeah, yeah. It could just literally be a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, do you know what I mean? Is um, you know, in terms of every condition, uh, you know, conceivable, yeah, could be played out on some place or another. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then it stands to reason that there definitely is a place that the conditions are like they are described in hell. Yeah, and there are people. Descri- how we describe demons maybe living there. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So, you know what I mean? I don't... But I, I wouldn't say that they were cast down from a fucking heaven for... And no, but that. a lot of things were... Because it was known as a god. Well, no, but I mean? that's was, what I'm saying, because uh, why from our, from our human brains, it's like anybody who doesn't look like us that's descended from the skies, but why did which a lot we of used things... to refer to as the heavens... But everyone was joint. They, we had hardly any communication. But within that time, within the times of the old days, near enough, every every culture around the world called it a, as like a god. You know what I mean? The, uh, the, or the sun. It was originally supposed yeah, to totally. be a sun. I'd say now, how did they get that communication? We cast other stuff from uh, the histories. That been written down like uh, what, like let's say aliens have come down, or something come from above the earth, or something was there that helped us get further along the lines. Yeah, so you know what I mean, it's um, it's a case of uh, history being lied to, but we need to try and bring truth, or even if it's not true, there's going to be a little bit. Well, it's there. not that. It's it's just that I think that it's just because of how it uh, it was like um, judging a book by its cover. Yeah, I think. But you don't know. I mean, there could be some truth in it. I mean, there could be the fact that you know it's not worshipped for no reason. Well, exactly. There's yeah. got to be a reason. There's got to be a reason why. So if um, all these world leaders are getting together and it's got something to do with um what's you know with saturn yeah and it's got a connection to the planet yeah then there's got to be a reason if it's been kind of always been referred to as you know or even if that's where the word satan does come from yeah, yeah. then there's got to be a reason yeah so does yeah. it make more sense that this red planet or this sort of like planet with a big eye in it yeah could be yeah, well, the that sounds was from described it. in the Bible. Fuck me, mate. I don't well, know. This isn't the episode I was expecting, but... Yeah. Well, they reckon, you know, the Noah Ark story? Yeah. The reason why that happened was because Jupiter and Saturn had moved. Well... Uh, uh, and there is actual uh, uh, probabilities... No, that, that, that makes sense. Be, you know yeah, that I mean? makes sense, because of... obviously you get tidal impacts just from yeah. our moon, so you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. Uh, so it's, 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 doing, uh, it's doing something... But um, the most um, important thing I thought on it was um, about how NASA sent Voyager. Yeah. And Voyager 1 and 2, nine months between. We're now, not when Voyager. About Star Trek again, are we? No, 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 no. Well, when Voyager 1 went past it uh, with the rings, right? The, in the rings, it, it's uh, they've been alphabetically put um, A, B, C, and D. Now, um, as in, you know, there's this big proportion, then there's a gap of emptiness, then this other big proportion. So they've uh, listed them. Now, when 
uh, Voyager 1 went past, um, it took pictures, but also a part of the bottom had, w- was missing. But also, they, they within the picture, you can see some kind of object moving or creating something. Right, yeah, yeah. So then that passed, it bypassed, so... You can still see the pictures to this day. I've even got the number from. Yeah, it's actually. the Ringmakers, isn't it? Yeah, the Ringmakers of Saturn. Uh, the number uh, for uh, NASA photo is uh, P two three eight seven off. Um, so then Voyager two went by nine months later. Now between these rings, there was uh, between A and B, there was it was known as just space. There was nothing there, absolutely nothing there. When this went, uh, when Voyager two went past taking photos. It was full. Yeah, but this is how. This is why because it's like it was um, full, uh, but how? What, and why? Full of what? Full of matter. Because uh, I think because this is it. I mean, we we have said this before about observable space, and as soon as we say like we we can only kind of uh, you know experience what we know is there. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. what we can see with the naked eye. Yeah. So as soon as it gets to um, we can't see anymore, then. It's the unknown, and then we send a probe out, and we discover seventy-five other planets that are un- that are potentially habitable. We find that it, there is actually matter out, out here, and not just empty void space that we we theorize. Yeah, but no, there was empty space. It was uh, because uh, the picture Start matter, baby. As well. The different was di- uh, the picture uh, quality was different as well because it was shiny on the way on the first Voyager, on the second Voyager, the space was full. And it was also not as shiny. Oh, you mean the the, the actual ring area? Like, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. The concept, uh, the, uh, the 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 materials had changed somehow. Well, that's what I'm saying. It could be that, like, you know, the the that some like is happening to aliens. the planet. What aliens? What do you think? It's aliens. I think it's aliens. Well, what do you think? Bubble took a photo. What do you think they're doing? Where you've got a miles, I mean miles, craft next to it. You've got uh, photos since 1972. Got photos for days. Well, yeah, but these well, these photos uh, they're questionable, and it's it's a case of you know people have written books on it. You got this. I've got more, but I will cut it down to yeah, we'll cut it from there. I'm happy. I don't with... want to. I don't want to have to rush you through. Well, I mean, like I say, we had a load of other stuff as yeah. well, but it's like you know we're, we're limited right. for time. We've got 62 moons. It's got. Um, it's the third biggest object still, in the you, solar you system. Don't, don't have to rush through too much. I'll oh, give you a nod. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I hate to be the bad guy. No problems. Sixth planet, uh, Babylon, t- uh, Babylon five. Uh, tablet set. Big Babylon 5 is a big pile of shit. Yeah, nice yeah that was the sun. Um, uh, yeah, that's the Maui Maui kind of thing. What What about Maui Maui? Well, there's been uh, another photo been taken um uh, I think it was last year uh, where it showed that there was some objects around uh, Saturn but it looks like the same object that the Maui Maui you know that was coming yeah. towards us that it was the same shape and form we'll definitely have to do a, a, another deep dive into Saturn yeah I think um, yeah. There's, there's so much there, to there it there is though. there is. it's a big topic yeah. and I think it deserves a full a full twang yeah I've only just like yeah, itch to say I think I think I remember t- um, watching a documentary and I, w- I was speaking to you about it and I was yeah. ca- proper captivated by it. So yeah, it's, yeah, um, it's definitely worth getting into. Um, I like I say, I've got a load of info here about the Bermuda Triangle, which was quite interesting. But we'll we'll cover that another day. In fact, we might actually do it in the extra to see what happens. Um, also, yeah. So basically, we were talking earlier about the podcast awards to say thank you again to whoever yeah, voted. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you to uh, Chris for sorting out the equipment and yeah. um, nice one for that mate it's um, working out a treat um, and what else what else do I need to do I've got a lot of shout outs today I have my mum's mum, I, I miss my mum's birthday. birthday oh yeah I've yeah. got a special shout out yeah for, here's for your Shana. special shout out are you ready no I'm not hey Shawnee it's your birthday and I just wanted to say ow you're having a great day I hope I hope you were treated like a fucking queen yeah anyway yeah, <laughs> yeah it was last week uh, yeah happy birthday for last week I think it was last week yeah yeah 
Right, so um, yeah, so basically we're coming to the end of the show, and we've got a lot of shout outs. So I'm just going to get to those quick. Um, first off, English uh, English uh, roses. I'd like to say uh, congratulations. You know, for uh, how far they went. Oh yeah, they the, did, uh, did really well in the football. So yeah, I know we've yeah, been a while brilliant. since we've been on. So yeah, congratulations on yeah. how far you got and there. England cricket boys. They won the uh, World yeah, Cup. Yeah, been first doing all right. I'm here for yeah, summer man. sports. Yeah. Come on, lads, yeah, keep it up and get the up. badminton or the volleyball going, and then, then we'll be fucking smashing it for summer sports. Yeah. Um, give a shout out to, uh, like I say, Chris for sorting out the um, uh, equipment and other Chris um, for quality comments on the, on um, iTunes and stuff like that. Thanks, for really appreciate it. Shawnee, thanks for your, um, obviously, support and happy birthday. Um, the Deep in History pod, good luck in the podcast awards, guys. Yeah, good luck, um, guys. Obviously, the um, the Geek Dum Fancast. Yeah. Um, Derek, um, great fan. Good, thanks for um, sorting those t- retweets and shit on Twitter. Nice, nice one, Derek. one. Um The Odd Limits podcast. Um, everybody in the Odd Pod squad, yeah. including Killer Rabbit and uh, Bill Killer. and Frankie Pop Culture. Uh, the Tennis Podcast, uh, not so Minnesota, Minnesota Nice Podcast. Yeah. Um, our number one patron, Swoosh. Oh, yes. And, swoosh, of swoosh, course, yeah. Mr. Shirley Crabtree. Oh, yeah, we can't forget you, son. We can't forget you. Well, in for listening. Thank you very much. I've been at getting yeah. people asking me when the next episode is. And, no, uh, same here, man. Sorry we've been yeah. away. But we've, we've had a bit of summer. We thought, do you know what? They don't want to be listening to us. No, they want to be out there and... enjoying themselves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we thought Give we'd them a break. try and do it as well. So. Stop the air um, also available if you listen to us on any of the platforms, you can get us on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Castbox, um, all any way you get your podcast. Just search "Never a Straight Answer" and you'll find us there. Yes, you, um, you can email us at neverstraightanswer at gmail dot co dot uk. We're on Twitter at nasa underscore never. You can see some of my photos on my personal account at Gaz Duncan. Um, and you can't find Taylor anywhere because he doesn't use social media. No, I don't. No, he doesn't. So, yeah, yeah, no can, sucker, man. You can follow him in the street, the car parks, the fucking shopping. Yeah, not the car parks, the where Dimmy Doggin. Yeah, well, that's another reason why to follow, 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 photograph him. That's why sell I'm it to the well. media. <laughs> yeah, sell it to the media. Sell it yeah. to the papers. Got, yeah, you'll get yeah, about two people. I've got, a, I've got a fucking it. minus Z list celebrity photo of a guy dogging in the car park. Yeah, have you and got, got go, a microscope there? They go, oh, You've, you've not got fucking I don't know Terry Christian again, have you? <laughs> hey, no, no, <laughs> no, not you. The fucking papers. Uh, no, I'm not insinuating Terry Christian goes out dogging, but well, he might. He don't might. know. Fuck, fuck oh, I'll ask him next time I see. Him. Next time you see him, ask give him a shout. Um, what else? Um, yeah, so we'll let you know if we've um, how successful or not we've been in that award thing. Um, what else? What else am I missing? Um, oh, merch. If you want to get yeah. some merch, you can get over to Dizzy Jam and get yourself some over there. A t-shirt, uh, t-shirt or something. Um, and... Cap. And Patreon, don't forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. I and mean, if you want to give us a, um, a helping hand, you yeah, can always get over it. to Patreon. And uh, drop us a quid, a euro, dollar, drachma, a rupee. Or £25,000. That would uh, yen. help Oh, yeah. Well, we, if you want to just fucking, you know, just drop Any a, millionaires drop a out big, there? A big yeah. chunk. Yeah. Yeah, so we can actually go out and buy one of these uh, bits of kit, then, yeah. you know, rather than just kind of Borrow having it. to... Yeah, because I, I know, yeah, everyone's going to be like, you know what, you had two really good weeks of it being really quality sound, yeah, well, and then all on, of a boys. sudden it just dropped <laughs> yeah. again. So if you want to help us keep it at this level, then you know what to do. You can get over to Patreon and stick a few quid in, and yeah. it all goes to this... This glorious... Um, All goes back into it this. It goes to this sort of... Uh, what's it? This The growth of this. Yeah, of this. Because it's actually quite impressive. Everyone walked in today and was like, hey, fucking hell, yeah. mate. Upped your game a bit. Yeah. So, yeah, buzzing if um, you could help us out. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. That's pretty much it for the show. I think it is. Um, we'll come back to you next week. We've got... Oh, yeah. Um, if you want to call in, um, give us a message, DM us, and we will give you our uh, Skype address. Yes. Our Skype yeah. number whatever you want to call it, and you can call in throughout the show maybe or kind of call in um, at a predetermined time, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, We'll work it out over the week. Um, So get in touch about that. Skype, phone calls. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So think of a question. uh, Good question. Plug your show as well. You know, don't be shy about kind of being shameless. Yeah. We all are. 
Um, and Especially you, yeah. Totally. That's well from fucking Manchester, innit? That's where the shameless comes from. Uh, so yeah. Apparently. apparently. Um, so yeah, it's undoneable. So um, yeah. So get in touch, and we'll we'll hook you up with the number. And um, we yeah, we'll see you next week with. And oh yeah, we, did, we forgot to mention we'll be probably be broadcasting live on YouTube. Probably as well. well yes, we will I be. We will hopefully, be. we've. Hopefully. Should be sorted out. Do by you know then. what that is? So hopefully, probably, maybe, should be. Yeah, will be. <laughs> well, maybe. We'll see what happens. Yeah, There's yeah. like some technical difficulties. Yeah. Um, but no, everything yeah. seems to have gone quite well tonight. So we'll 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 hope, we'll call it a win. Yeah. Um, I'd say so. Right. We'll catch you next time. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Um, and this has been Never a Straight Answer. Mikey. And Mikey. Right, right. And, and Jay and Jay Jay's got, Jay me. is still awake all yeah. the way through oh the podcast days, what's going well on done mate yeah. well done we're really proud of you that's why right right we'll catch you in a bit nice peace out the podcast you just heard was made using Anchor ever thought about making your own podcast Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started it's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.